Hello guys, welcome to Photoshop Tutorials. Subscribe to our channel for regular updates. In this tutorial we are gonna see how to transform a normal picture to a beautiful one. The source files are given as a link in the description below. Select the background layer and click on Controller Command J to duplicate a layer. Now click on Controller Command Shift A to open Camera Raw so we have to perform some basic exposure adjustments. The main thing you have to do in Camera Raw is to cut the shadows and decrease the highlights to bring down all the overexposed areas. I'm decreasing the exposure a bit since the skin is exposed. The main objective of adjusting the basic settings is to make the picture look like an even light portrait. Moving on to HSL adjustments. Here you can find three tabs. Hues, Saturation, Luminance. By adjusting the hues, you can see the color changes happening on the subject or in the background. This is done just to pop up the background colors mostly. In saturation you can increase the vibrance of every single color in this picture. By adjusting the luminance, you can darken or lighten the color available in the picture. Hit on OK once you're done. Let's clean up the skin by removing the dark spots and hair from the skin. Open a new layer. Click on the healing brush, choose layer sample as current and below. Now start healing. Click on Alt to choose source area. Select the background copy layer and skin cleanup layer and group them by clicking on Controller Command G. Now click on Controller Command J to duplicate the group layer. Let's merge this group by clicking on Controller Command E. So by this we always keep a copy of whatever we did. Now, we're gonna perform frequency separation technique. This technique makes the skin smooth without losing its texture. OK let's get into it. Select the top layer and click on Controller Command J two times, so we need two copy layers for this technique. Name one layer as Blur and another one as Texture. Keep the Texture layer on top and Blur layer below that. Off the Texture layer. Click on Blur layer, go to Filter. Blur. Gaussian Blur. 10 points of Blur recommended approximately. See that you blur the texture of the skin. Hit on OK once you're done. Now switch on the texture layer by clicking on the eye icon and select the texture layer. Go to Image. Apply Image. On the dialog box, select the layer as Blur. Channel RGB as default. Turn the blending mode to Subtract. Opacity 100%, Scale 2. Offset 128. Please see that these settings are same as mine. This is like a kind of a formula. Hit on OK once you're done. Turn the gray layer blending mode to Linear Light. Click on Blur Layer. We are about to brush on Blur Layer. Right click on the Brush tool and select Mixer Brush. Keep the brush settings as same as mine. Start brushing gently on the skin. Hold Alt and click on the source color of the skin. If overdone, the picture might look odd, so see that you brush smoothly. The skin might look flat now, don't worry about that we can correct that by dodging and burning. We have completed the frequency separation technique. Ok this is fine. Group the texture and blur layer by clicking on controller command G. Let's tone up the skin. Open a new selective colors adjustment layer. 
adjusting the reds and yellows to tone up the skin. Adjusting all the colors to make the picture pop. Okay, we're done. Now let's do some local dodge and burn. Open a new layer. Click on Shift F5. On the dialog box select Contents option and click on 50% Gray, Blending Mode Normal and Opacity 100%. Hit on OK. Turn the gray layer blending mode to soft light. Select the brush tool, masking colors black and white. Brush setting opacity 100%, flow 1% or changeable accordingly. Now select white and start dodging the subject. Only highlight the areas where you see lights on the subject. Once you're done with the dodge, select black and start burning. Burn only the areas where you see shadows. A tip for the beginners. If you're in the starting stage of learning to dodge and burn, you can use two gray layers, one for dodge and one for burn. If you're a pro then you can go with a single layer. See that you cover all the areas in a subject. The more time you take the more effective output you will get. Ok let me speed up this process. Ok guys we are done with the local dodge and burn. Now let's move on to separation of the subject from the background. Open a new level adjustment layer. Increase shadows a bit. Now select the brush tool and start brushing out the subject from the dark using a layer mask. Ok we are done with this step. Let's tone up the overall image. Open a new channel mixer adjustment layer. Keeping the output channel as red and adjusting the bars. Ok let's go with this. Let's darken around the subject. Open a new layer. Select black. Brush setting, opacity 100%. Flow 10% approximately. Start brushing smoothly around the subject. OK this is fine. Let's color up the surrounding. Open a new layer. Choose the colors from the picture by using the eyedropper tool. Click on eye to use eyedropper tool. You can click anywhere in the picture to choose the color and start brushing. 
Let's choose this orange and brush it up. Okay, this is fine. Turn the blending mode of this layer to overlay. Let's boost up the eye colors. Opening a new levels adjustment layer. And let's play with the colors. Okay, this is fine, let's layer mask it. Click on controller command I to invert the layer mask and start brushing the eyes. See that the pupil remains black. Decreasing the opacity to make it natural. Now let's do some global dodge and burn. This effect will create more depth on the subject. Open a new curves adjustment layer and pull the curve down a bit to increase the shadows. Click on controller command I to invert the layer mask. Select the brush tool, brush setting, opacity 100%. Flow 1% are changeable accordingly. And start burning the subject. Burn only the areas where you see shadows on the subject. Once you're done, open a new curves adjustment layer and pull the curve up a bit to increase highlights. Click on controller command I to invert the layer mask. Select the brush tool. Brush setting, opacity 100%. Flow 1% are changeable accordingly. Start dodging the subject. Dodge only the areas where you see highlights on the subject. Okay, we've come to the end of Global Dodge and Burn. Now let's create some freckles on her cheeks and nose using a splatter brush. You can download this splatter brush from Google, or I will try to get the brush link in the description below. Open a new layer. Select her skin color using an eyedropper tool, by clicking on I now select a darker color than her skin. A kind of brownish color will suit our subject. Select the splatter brush and start brushing. Spilling out can be corrected later using a layer mask, so don't worry about that. Turn the blending mode of this freckles layer to luminosity. Let's add some blush to the subject. Open a new layer and change the blending mode to soft light. Select the brush tool and choose red color from the color palette. Brush setting, opacity 100%, flow 1% are changeable accordingly. Start brushing on the nose and on the cheeks gently, if overdone, decrease the opacity to look natural. Let's color her lip. Open a new selective colors adjustment layer and adjusting the reds to make her lip vibrant. Okay, this is fine. Click on controller command I to invert the layer mask and brush out her lip.
Let's move on to the final image tone boosting process. Select the topmost layer and click on Controller Command, Shift, Alt, E to merge all the below layers to form a new layer. Now click on Controller Command, Shift A to open Camera Raw. Let's now boost up the image using Camera Raw. The final color grading plays a major role of fine-tuning a picture. Most of the professionals will bring up their personal touch using this final tuning process. Ok now let's get into it. Adjusting the basic settings to see whether this will bring up something better. Moving on to curves to brighten the highlights and increasing the shadows to form a depth. Let's go to split toning which creates the final tone of the image, I'm looking for a reddish green color. Ok this is fine for me. Click on the radial filter and make a circle around the subject. This will create a depth around the subject by making the background darker. We can adjust the darkness from basic settings as needed. Ok this is fine. Hit on OK, once you're done. We've come to the end of this tutorial, if you have any doubts you can ask them on the comments section below. Hope this tutorial was useful, hit on the like button if you like this video, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for regular updates.